This week in Aotearoa, New Zealand, we are celebrating Māori Language Week. Kia ora, Tiri Wepu. Nau mai, hara mai, ki a koutou katoa e mātakitaki ta, mā mai i tēnei pō. Ka tuku te mihi ki te iwi o Ngāti Kahununu, kei te mihi, kei te mihi. E kemu whakahirihira tēnei, mō e nei tīma e rua, mātakitaki ta, mai koutou katoa i te kāinga. Hawks Bay is where they started, now they advance, Mikaele Tū. At the back of the drive. Now they're inside the 10, so they picked up 12 metres on the initial drive. Rocket to Stones. Web up. Advantage, seven offside. And a penalty advantage as well. Now they're seven metres out. Number seven is offside. Never back on side. Danny Toala. Xavier Mumia with the tackle. And then they win the penalty. So a chance to level it up, level it up immediately. Shot on the ball. And Kirifi. Shot a goal. Conceded a penalty, now wins one. Three all. Now Weber offloads for Stacey Ely, keeping the ball alive in the tackle. Now Tyrone Thompson carries the game. Advantage! And a penalty advantage. Walker Leowede. Ely. Three goals. Not supporting your body weight. Lincoln McClutchy. Two from two. Now Morgan. Nice ball over the top. Ruben Love goes inside the tackle of Stacey Ely. Pedanada. Three options. Finds Delaney. Now a little show and go from Pedanada. They've got great field position. Wellington. Dominic Bird. Straight ahead, taken by the defence. He's fine. We've got five offside. Two from two as well. So. Ken, as you mentioned earlier, we haven't really seen the ball in the hands of the backs. You can see there they've got a 4-2 split, four out to that left, two out to this right-hand side. You've got Love and Savi out to the right. Morgan and the rest, you can see Umanga Jensen there as well. We haven't seen them in the match because, as you said, it's been very much a forwards game. Crouch! I'd love to see them just start interjecting themselves Bye. with a couple minutes left in this first half. Sit! Cowan's not happy either. Veteran front row, 10 tests for the Wallabies. Lincoln, McClutchy. 100% effort from both kickers tonight. McClutchy and Morgan. And a couple of All Blacks in the nine jersey tonight for their respective teams. And Aidan Morgan on the return. Oh, more. Taken low. Joe up at Couture. He wasn't backing down. Well, they're saying no arms, and I would think up at Couture. Stop, guys. Leave it. Had no malice. Hence his reaction to being challenged. What's that? No arms in the tackle. Is that what they're looking at? TJ's blown up. There's zero attempt to wrap the arms. Shoulder straight at the knee of the player. Yellow Incredibly card. dangerous. It's a yellow card. Okay, go. Um, 
people say, Hayden Morgan just drops the ball. And nothing is separating these two teams in a very intense 40 minutes. Wellington and Hawks Bay, 9 all at half time. Julian Savia. Another strong carry from Savia breaks the line. Gets some momentum for his team. They're just outside the 22. Now they come direct. Good start. Then the offload. Perinata. Now Bird. Now the pick and go, Larkai, but the right arm available. They started to play and now they finish it. Better not out. With the try, unless that pass was forward, they're good to go. Wellington. As Greg talked about it at half time, but as they shift it here, Julian Savia hasn't been in the game as much. Finally gets an opportunity. Just terrorizes the defense. And then Peter Larkoy seeing an opportunity with a pick and go and then offload to TJ Pirinata and he finishes the job. So Larkai holds the ball at the back. Perinata. Julian carries. Two tacklers gets through the defense line. Delaney hard onto the ball, the blind side flanker. And a penalty. So three points here will make it a 10-point lead. So Wellington now with an opportunity to build some pressure. Patafila in the middle of the park. Patafila with a half break. Then the offload for Proctor. Great attack from Wellington. Perinata. Lakai. So Hawks Bay under the pump. Morgan with a kick over the top. That's for Savia. Flying under the ball. Lincoln McClutchy. Save the day. It's live over here. This is a great run. How about this offload and no look? Brilliant job. Put the feel They're getting over the advantage, but not only that, recycling the ball, giving them another opportunity to continue the momentum. Pilanada. Gay Julian Sabe coming from the right wing. Carries over the advantage line. But they can see the penalty. I've been using this quite a bit, Julian carrying in the offset piece. Just arriving players just not equal to the task, not there on time to help secure their ball and clean out the threats. Getting two. No problem. McClutchy. Four from four. Black ball. Ooh. With the win, no more. At the back of the drive. Now Wellington advanced. They've got the ball. They've got field position. Pedanada. Savia. This time lets the ball go early. Oh, that's a penalty advantage. Advantage. That'll make it a 10-point lead again. TJ Pitanara knew that exactly. Was happy to just let the ball go. <laughs> Getting a Melbourne reminder not to waste time. Oh! In the end, he shanked it. He shanked it and he's been pulled from the field as well. Because Jackson Garden Bassett will be replacing Aidan Morgan. That was his last act of the game. Now my hook's Great. 
to the line. Out of the Penalty. Penalty. Penalty advantage. Oh, that's a sin bin. That's a sin bin. Off your feet. Off your feet. He has been running the show today. 78 test, all black. Kennedy signs. We go to Flanders again, it's won by Wellington. Thrilling contest. No quarter asked or given over the course of the 83 minutes. They celebrate, they get this ball out, and the Rand fairly chilled. We'll be going to Wellington. After some seasons of inconsistent form, Wellington. They find the right plan and execution tonight here at McLean Park to win the Ranfilly Shield. TJ Peronata coming back onto the park and a significant night in the history of Wellington and of Hawke's Bay and of course one of the greatest rivalries and legacies in our game, the Ranfilly Shield that has been a part of New Zealand rugby since 1901.